All right. Hey again, everybody. Welcome to week three of Three and Out with Coach Gas. He's head coach Russell Gas Camp of Ravens Football. I'm Matt Janik, assistant AD. We're going to ask him three questions. We're going to talk about the week a little bit, and then we are going to go on our way. Um, question number one, Coach, um, the trip to Carson Newman this weekend. Um, kind of a similar theme to the first game. The offense may be struggling to get it going a little bit, particularly the running game. Is it a case of people keying on EJ Burgess, knowing how talented he is, or, or what do we need to do to get the running well, game? Well, obviously, EJ is going to attract a lot of attention, and, and – uh, you know, obviously, Kavaris didn't play last week. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's part of our run game also. Um, you know, they can kind of balance out some yeah. of that a little bit. Uh, but people key on him. But, you know, I, I think it's more about it really we're still trying to kind of figure out our young offensive line, try to figure out what they do well, put them in good positions to do that. But, you know, also the run game involves all the people on the field. You know, we got to do a better job on the perimeter blocking. We That was something we're focusing on this week. Uh, there was times in the game where we kind of broke loose and our receivers weren't in the right position to make bigger plays. And there's a big difference between that four-yard run and that 40-yard run, right. right, if they do their job on the perimeter. So, you know, it's a collective group. We're all focusing on how to get that better. We obviously know EJ's a great player. we got to continue to put the ball in his hands, and good things are eventually going to happen. So, Right. Um, so looking ahead to this week, conference opener against St. Anselm. Yeah, we're uh, excited. In, in, inter, interstate rivalry right yeah. out of the gate. What are we expecting on Friday? Well, so, first of all, St. A's has been playing real well this year, and uh, I'm sure they're extremely confident. I'm sure they're feeling really good about uh, the way that they were, they've been playing. Uh, we know we're close. You know, we, 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 we've, we've played uh, uh, really well on the defensive side of the ball, but they've got a whole other challenge ahead of them this week. You know, they're – Quarterback, I think, has been the offensive player of the of the uh, for the week the last couple of weeks. Uh, Drew's done a really good job for them uh, throwing the ball kind of all over the yard. So our defense has got a, quite a challenge ahead of them. And then you know, obviously, uh, if we don't start scoring offensively. We're going to struggle this year, and so you can't win games scoring uh, seven points a game. And so um, I, I expect that we're going to bounce back well on the offensive side of the ball. We had we had a great practice Monday. We had a great practice yesterday. Um, and I expect for our guys are going to go out there and be real competitive. I think special teams is going to be a, a big part of this game. They've been well, or they've done well in the special teams so far this year. They have one of the best punt returners in the league. Uh, I think he was an all-conference guy last year. Um, and we've been a little shaky at times uh, in some of our stuff. And so uh, for us to win this game, we're going to have to play great on special teams. All right. Um, atmosphere on Saturday night. It's a 6 yeah. o'clock kick here, in Pier here at Pierce. Um, we're looking to do a blackout on Saturday night. Yeah. Just talk to us a little about what we're looking for. Yeah, first of all, for the fans, you know, we, we, we'd love for everybody to uh, dress in black for the game. Um, uh, we, you know, we have a relationship uh, with Bees Tees where uh, we're going to be giving out free shirts into the stadium while, you know, it's limited supply while, while, that, while that lasts. Um, you know, we know Ravens Row is going to be rocking. We know the gas station is going to be rocking, you know, that, that, even in the first game. Uh, you know, people were up there having a great time and were really loud. And so, but, you know, Labor Day weekend, a little smaller crowd, you know, it's the last kind of summer vacation, you know, day for some people. Um, I know that Sodexo Field uh, and uh, uh, Ravens Row and our fans are going to come out in full support to see us play St. A's. It's also a really big, important game for us from a recruiting yes. standpoint. Uh, we'll have a ton of recruits here this weekend. Us and St. A's recruit the same guys. And so um, it, it's, it's really going to be a great overall atmosphere for our recruits to see what coming to a game day is like here, um, at, at, here at Ringe and uh, here at Franklin Pierce University, it's a great kind of showcase day for our, not only our program but our school. Right. Let's get the place bumping and see what happens. Can't wait to see it. That's man. that's three questions. Let's get out of here, Coach. Give us give us a sentence or two. What's what's the key this week? Well, we, we've got to score. Uh, this team scores points. We're going to have to score on offense. We're going to have to play better. Defense is going to have to create pressure without blitzing. And keep it in front of them. If we do that, we got a great chance to win the game. All right, perfect. Six o'clock on Saturday night. The Ravens and St. Anselm will be there. We hope to see you out there too. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.